Hi everyone, so today I just kind of wanted to take a moment and sit down and tell you about how we found my cat Callie. Um, it's a pretty interesting story, so I thought I would tell it. Okay, so this is Callie, and I'm going to tell you the story of how she came to be a part of this household today. We moved here a little less than three years ago, and I don't think it was from the very beginning that she was around, but um, soon after we moved into the house, we would see this cat walk by the by the fence at night, but she would never come around. We really didn't know what she looked like. Um, so mom started leaving food on the back porch and every morning it would be gone. And so mom would just keep putting food out every night and the, we would never see her. It would just be gone in the morning. Um, so one night, I think it was probably about a few months after we started doing this, we finally saw what she looked like but she really would not come near us. So we continued to do that for a while. And I would say about a year later, uh, we were on the back patio one night and she came up and just sat on my lap. From there, we kind of just started feeding her twice a day. So like in the morning and at night, and she would come eat her food and leave, but we would always see her. And we have, our dog Suki, which you guys have seen before, and Suki would start chasing her when she would see her. So mom started putting the food in the front instead, so Suki would never see her. And more and more, Callie would come, would just be hanging around the house, like she would never leave. And we would try and get her inside the house because at this point we were feeding her anyway. So we figured that she might as well be in the house with us. She would have nothing to do with being inside the house. Even when it would be storming, I would try and get her inside and she would just pace the house. She really didn't want to be inside. Her not wanting to be in the house was a little unusual to me because she did look very well kept for being a cat that was just like a stray outside. Um, I'll insert pictures so that you could see what she looked like. She was very clean, but um, just very skinny. So I swear it up and down that she was someone's pet before that they just abandoned because she was too friendly, even though she wasn't friendly at the beginning. The fact that she jumped up on my lap without me even having to like do anything for it was pretty, was a pretty good indication that she was somebody's pet. So it was a little weird that she wouldn't go inside, but slowly but surely she started to come in a little bit more and now you can see she never wants to go outside anymore. So this is her home now and we are glad that she likes to be inside now. I just wanted to tell this story because I know a lot of people will get an animal and have to move or something and just abandon their pets. But if you're gonna have a pet, you need to be responsible with the pet and take them with you. Uh, we had two dogs and a cat when we moved here and we just had our little car and Kiki sat in the back on top of all of our stuff and our old dogs Coco and Shotzi just sat in the front seat with us. So it is not impossible to take your pets with you. So if you're going to take on the responsibility of a pet, please take care of them and take them with you if you move. Don't abandon them. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in another video. Bye.